Hi guys, I'm quite excited to have these two devices that I ordered from Amazon US. They've just arrived a few minutes ago actually. I'm in Nairobi, Kenya, so it took a couple of days, but they're finally here. On the right side, we have the Samsung 970 Evo Plus NVMe M.2 VNAND SSD. Quite a mouthful, but it's replacing the hard disk I have currently in my laptop. And this is meant to be much faster. The old hard disks are very, very slow, use up a lot of energy. These which are solid state drives tend to be about five times faster than that. But then the NVMe SSDs are actually now five times faster than the SSD. So essentially, this is like a 25 times upgrade on my current laptop. Uh, very excited. On the left side, we have the Elgato Camlink 4K. Essentially, if you have a DSLR camera as I do, you can't use it for streaming. You can only record, you know, and I want to stream chess, I want to stream stuff, I want to have, a, you know, all this stuff. But then you can't do that uh, direct from your DSLR without this. This is a capture card, makes it possible, excellent reviews online. So we're going to unbox them and really just to see what's inside um, and share the price at the end of this video. Okay, so first up, the Samsung 970 Evo Plus NVMe M.2 VNAND SSD 500GB. And this is special stuff, guys. I have to use specialized equipment. So I'm just going to pick um, a unique tool for unboxing this. You with me? Here we go. Voila. That's what we're going to use. And let's see. There's a seal, it's actually well sealed. You can almost be certain it's the exact item. Maybe that's the hind side, I don't know. And that's the top side. No worries. There we go. Yeah, it's really well packaged. <sighs> Guys, welcome to the new generation of disks. This is a 500 GB hard disk. It's a solid state drive. Okay, well, maybe hard disk is the wrong term, but that's what we're used to. And this small device here is going to fit into my computer and it's going to really outperform the big item I have on my computer right now. There we go. Is there anything else in the cable? I, I doubt it. Let me just see. Very solid packaging. Oh, there's something inside here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Must be a manual. Samsung solid set drive. Done. Next up, handle with care. Set that aside. Next to the Black Knight and the Black King. Stay right there. Next up, Elgato Camlink 4K. Uh, is there a seal? I can't see the seal immediately, but... Okay, this looks like... Oh, yeah, there's a seal on the side right here. So once again, you pick a special tool for a special device. And make a nick right there. The nick on the other side. Tell the tool, thank you very much. And open it. See what we have. I'm going to comment on the packaging. It's a box. It's nice. Uh, yeah, but really what I'm looking for is what's on the inside. Wow, seen this on many YouTube videos, never seen it real life. Take a moment here. It's beautiful. There we go. And suddenly now, I believe I'm able to stream from my DSLR camera and my videos will be much better. That's it. Let me see what else do I have. I just have one problem. Okay, there must be some. This is documentation. I'm sure there's a manual somewhere inside. Box, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yada, yada. Uh, this cable, what is this? This is a USB cable. USB, USB only. So it means I'm short of one item. It means I'm short of what connects to this HDMI and to my computer. So I have to figure that out. I hope I will, but I think this goes this side. And if I don't figure it out, what's YouTube there for? I'll figure it out from YouTube. Yeah, so this will work. But I need to figure out what goes into my DSLR and goes here 
and gives me the excellent capture that I'm looking for. On Amazon, this costs $99, the 500 GB version, and this costs about $119. But again, for Africa and Kenya, it's not that simple because after paying that amount, then you pay for shipping costs. And I tell you, shipping costs can almost equal the cost of buying these two items. So uh, very painful, very expensive, but I'm glad that I finally have these two. And I'm waiting to see how well my items are going to work. Um, my computer is a Core i7 8th generation, but it's pretty slow. Often the hard disk is 100% full. This will change that. And this cam link is just a game changer. Cheers. Okay, so we are going to set aside these items and bring a new player into this equation. And the new player is my laptop. Okay, and so before I became a doctor, I used to like tinkering with stuff. And that habit hasn't gotten out of me yet. I used to open the television set, you know, uh, okay, broke one. Yeah, my dad forgave me eventually. Uh, yeah, but I'm going, going to open this laptop myself and insert the SSD. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I've already watched YouTube videos. So, I mean, you can become an astronaut from YouTube, right? Uh, yeah, so let's turn this on. Let's restart. Do we have a timer? We'll time on the video, actually. Okay. You'll see it's restarting. It's restarting. It's restarting. What stories can we tell now instead of just waiting and watching this? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is minutes of my life and your life being spent waiting. This is what I'm trying to change. Because this is what I'm trying to change because uh, this is too slow. And my main view, even after this has all come up, uh, I still have to wait for it, all this thing to populate a couple of minutes. Uh, you get the drift. And so SSD is really important. But other thing is, um, I, I stream using OBS. You can see OBS Studio up there. And it's very resource intensive. Now I think my RAM is 12 GB. Uh, the processor had no issue with Intel Core i7 8th generation. That's really, really good. Whenever I check my resources, I find my hard disk is at 100% capacity most of the time when it's fully intensive. And so when that happens, it's... Okay, so I bought another tool, set of tools many years ago. That's my two-year-old daughter, Ariela. I'm on YouTube. These are, these are my screwdrivers. I want to use them for opening the laptop. Let me see, Dad. Let oh. me see. You want to see? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Alright, that's it now. You're a good girl. Yeah. So, here we go. Oops. It's back. Voila. And I uh, want to check which of these would open my. It's working. Let me see. Like that. It's very small. Smaller. Let me see this one. it works this is tell her how did you know this is the right one so i have to turn it off first so uh, finally i have managed to pry this open uh, it's easier to unscrew the screws and to get this off, I tell you. 
and um, it comes with a price i've cut my finger and but uh, there's a reason this is left to the professionals my goodness what business do i have opening a laptop anyway now i'm done and i also it wouldn't get up so i sort of wanted to figure out the hidden screws underneath here and so i started uh, tinkering with this because the screws on these two ends but in fact underneath here there's a battery and i got a spark and underneath here there is i don't know what that is now i know the nvme um the pci slot where this is meant to go is somewhere where ram is but i can't find where the ram sticks are so i sort of i'm tempted to open either this or this i really don't know where it lies what i'll do alternatively i'll have to check it on youtube because it is under the battery or it's under this or it's under this i guess i have to take a moment to figure that out looks good yeah yikes i hope it's not messed up because i had to pry the edges open uh, looks kind of intact to me Okay, okay so i'm unscrewing the battery i have no clue where the pca slot is I'm, not, I'm sure it's under something could be under the battery under this but this i know for sure is a battery so uh that's the easier one to get out i don't want to get out something that i don't really know so and let me take the battery out yeah, it's kind of an adventure could be an expensive adventure i hope not here we go have you ever assembled uh, okay not assembled but opened other laptop uh, well the, the old desktop computers that were like modules we'd add our own items you'd add a hd card but it's been a while not since my days in the university have i tried something like that so this is fairly new territory and uh, i'm having a bit of trouble here principally because i don't exactly know where the ram sticks are nope not under there Okay, certainly not under there. Let's put that back. Okay, a bit of adrenaline going on with this. It's back. There we go. Okay, so hopefully we've not messed up anything yet. And, uh, in the quest to make the computer faster, it will be a disaster to make it permanently brain damaged. That will be put in a coma or something. That will be that will not that would be nice. Okay, screen this. I'm instead of working as a surgeon here, I'm working as a an elephant on stilts try again but i should have some kind of magnetic thing this doesn't seem to work so let's try this one great looks like a charm and i'll just touch that stop that we are going to open this so I can't see where else where the RAM would be hiding under. I can't see any other place. Am I missing the M.2 slot? Is it meant to be somewhere else that's super obvious and I'm not seeing it? I don't think so. So let's open this next. I don't know what I'm opening by the way. Seems like it's the next easy thing to open. solution to that 
Oh, I broke something. See it now. Okay, that looks like a clip or something. And I have to take out. There we go. And I hope that getting you up is easy. I hope. And that in so doing, I'm not messing up anything. Oh no. Oh, this is the hard disk, I think. Hmm. You know what? It would be such a shame if this laptop doesn't have an M.2 slot. After I've bought this item, it would be such a shame. But we'll get on. Okay, so I've been trying to figure out where the M.2 slot is on this machine. Based on a review I'll show on online that uh, suggested that the HP NVAQ200 had. So I went ahead and bought with confidence and I have looked for the last one hour and I cannot see it for the life of me. I really can't have searched and I can't see it. I've opened the RAM bay here. This is the hard drive. Nothing. And I kid you not, I have looked. Maybe I'm missing something pretty obvious, but I can't see it. So it will be quite interesting if I have bought such a wonderful item and all day from the US at such an expense and it's completely useless to me and I can't use it. That will be the most ridiculous thing. Uh, quite laughable really, yeah. I don't know guys, help me, can, can you see any slot? So I've imported something all day from the US, waited with a lot of excitement, unboxed it right here to the end, cut my finger opening my laptop, and here I am, I cannot see for the life of me the M.2 slot. I have searched for the last one hour, I can't see it. I've tried to pick the user manual, I can see something about an SSD, drive but i can't see the m.2 slot anywhere on this machine i just can't see it it's meant to take this piece here and it has no place to go what an expensive mistake this would be it's cost me quite an amount all the excitement and i was looking forward to upgrading the laptop and uh seems like this just won't work what to do now? Oh, what a disappointment. I'll keep searching if I succeed. I'll let you guys know. I'm seeing a slot there, but I think he's already equipped with something, and I'm not sure it's an S. This one here looks like a PCI slot, but it's most likely already occupying. Well, Oh, that's the wireless slot yeah i think that would be but that's wireless right there so where else i'll keep you updated if i don't if i don't post again just know that was my expensive mistake and um i'm too upset to talk about it so i've looked everywhere haven't found it i've put back the screws and uh now I'll just return the RAM casing. I think that's the last of it. Figure out how I got it out. So it goes back in. That's all I need to do now. I have an idea how it fits. Things and I do it in the background. Okay, so everything is back in place. Yeah, my daughter. Daughters. Ariella, let me finish this. So 
what could be worse than buying an SSD, being so excited about it and it doesn't work? Because um, you don't have an MD2 slot. Well, it's opening the laptop, tinkering with it, SSD doesn't fit in, and then the laptop itself doesn't work. Uh, thankfully though, the laptop is working after all that, and it's back together. In fact, there's a bit of a wobble at the back which I've sorted, but then other than that, uh, a complete disappointment in terms of... Yes, it's working, Ariella. Thank you. Yeah, it's working. And so, yeah, guys, uh, that's it. That's my disappointment of the day. It was meant to be an, an exciting day. Unboxing the Camlink, unboxing the Samsung 970. Thank you for the kiss, Ariella. Um, yeah, and it's just been a disappointment. Well, still, I'll ask you to like the video. I hope, no, well, to, it's been such a such a disappointment really but we'll we'll see i hope that someone will make out make make up for it um still go ahead like the video leave a comment hello let me finish please please let me finish please okay all right so go ahead uh leave a comment like the video uh yeah that may at least help me recover so, to some extent this big uh, <laughs> loss yeah all right bye